B-52H strategic bombers of the U.S. Air Force Global Strike Command have landed in the United Kingdom. This is part of the regular bomber task force deployment at RAF Fairford in southwest England. The four B-52s from the 69th Bomb Squadron, 5th Bomb Wing, Minot Air Force Base, North Dakota, touched down at RAF Fairford on February 10. The aircraft arrived using the call signs HATE-11 to HATE-14 and were supported on their long flight by at least four aerial refueling tankers. While the massive bombers are expected to remain in the United Kingdom for three weeks, there is a possibility of this being extended as per the situation in Ukraine. Meanwhile, the bombers will take part in joint exercises with NATO allies and partner nations. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why B-52 stratofortresses arriving in Britain is a message to President Putin. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air, and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer all Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship, and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. The deployment of the B-52s in the United Kingdom in this way began in their current form in 2018. General Jeffrey L. Harrigan, the commander of the United States Air Forces in Europe and Air Forces Africa, stated, With an ever-changing global security environment, it's critical that our efforts with our allies and partners are unified. We are in Europe training and collaborating together because consistent integration is how we strengthen our collective air power. Though these deployments are officially meant to improve interoperability, these also demonstrate U.S. commitment to NATO allies and partners in the region, which is especially important keeping in view of the current situation in the Baltic Sea and Black Sea regions as well as in areas surrounding Ukraine. The Boeing B-52 Stratofortress is a long-range, subsonic, jet-powered strategic bomber. The B-52 was designed and built by Boeing, which has continued to provide support and upgrades. It's been operated by the United States Air Force USAF, since the 1950s. Better performance at high subsonic speeds and relatively low operating costs have kept the B-52 in service despite the advent of more advanced aircraft, including the variable geometry B-1B Lancer and the stealthy B-2 Spirit. After several rounds of upgrades, it's become a modern-day behemoth. It has a typical combat range of more than 8,800 miles or 14,080 kilometers without aerial refueling. The massive range enables B-52 to take on strategic bombing missions. The powerful engines also enable B-52 to carry up to 70,000 pounds or 32,000 kilograms of weapons. The B-52 is capable of carrying both conventional as well as nuclear weapons. Apart from the ability to drop bombs, B-52 can carry land attack cruise missiles. A total of 194 B-52Gs and Hs were modified to carry AGM-86s, 
carrying 12 missiles on underwing pylons. With 82 B-52Hs further modified to carry another 8 missiles on a rotary launcher fitted in the bomb bay for a total of 20 missiles. The AGM-86 is a subsonic air-launched cruise missile having a range of 2,400 kilometers or 1,490 miles depending on the variant. This will enable B-52 to hit targets without getting into the strike envelope of air defense systems like Russian S-400. AGM-86 has three different variants. AGM-86B, equipped with W-80 thermonuclear warheads. AGM-86C, with a conventional warhead. And AGM-86D, with a AUP or Advanced Unitary Penetrator warhead designed to attack deeply buried targets. The same day the B-52s landed in Britain, US President Joe Biden issued a statement that indicates that the situation is fluid and a conflict could break out at any moment. Biden told NBC News, things could go crazy quickly, urging U.S. citizens to leave Ukraine immediately. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken added that a Russian invasion could take place before the end of this month's Winter Olympics, which close on February 20th. He stated, simply put, we continue to see very troubling signs of Russian escalation including new forces arriving at the Ukrainian border. While the US and NATO clearly stated that they will not be sending troops to protect Ukraine, they are helping out by supplying huge caches of arms. The Pentagon has ordered 3,000 more soldiers from the 82nd Airborne Division to Poland as tensions continue to mount. More fighter jets and destroyers have also been sent to the region. B-52 Stratofortress is a powerful asset and is a potent deterrent that the Russian military can't ignore. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.